Hello, friends. We're back again. It's Fightful.com. I am Atrial Pearl, and it's time for your WrestleMania SmackDown post show, April 5th, 2024, getting you ready and hyped for a big weekend of wrestling. And if you haven't already, what are you doing? There's plenty of content here, and we're going to talk about it. And we're going to talk to you, and we're going to talk to each other. But who are the other people on my screen? Well, you probably have a few questions. So why don't we answer them right off the bat so that I don't alarm anyone? First of all, we're we answer the question, where is Sean Ross Sapp? Sean Ross Sapp is currently at the GCW event. He's in Philadelphia. He's getting the scoops. He's getting the interviews. That's what he does. Alexis Cardoza is with me because Alexis Cardoza is always with me, just always in spirit. Hello, sir. How are you? I am so happy to be here with you. I am the D team. <laughs> go, go, go. And then, of course, joining us for the first at the top of the show, the man, the myth, the NXT legend himself. Yes. Corey Brennan is with us to talk a little bit of scoops from tonight's SmackDown and maybe a little bit of tomorrow's Stand and Deliver, what to expect. How are you doing, sir? I'm okay, Joel. Uh, I'm all right. Just uh, talking about scoops as per usual. So it's nice to be on a post show where I'm not called a coward every five seconds. So that's Wow. Nice. That's crazy. They're still talking. Yeah, it's not like, yeah, Alex, who, who would ever do that? <laughs> <laughs> and where is Kate? Kate's at Ring of Honor. I assume that's pretty much. I assume the real that if, coward. If there's she a ring of honor show, <laughs> there's a ring of honor show. Kate's at it. Uh, but if you're <laughs> here, if you're here and you haven't yet, go ahead and you can toss a like on the video and of course subscribe to us here at YouTube.com/slash Fightful. We are here every day, including WrestleMania Saturday and Sunday. Sean Ross Sapp will be here for a post show, and of course we'll be back for Monday Night Raw. Raw after Mania, I will be here. Well, I won't be here. This is actually my last night on Maine before I go back to TNA land, where I normally sit. I'm over <laughs> on Five Blocks, where I do a morning show. So this is a weird space for me to be in. But tonight, we're going to talk about it. It's WrestleMania SmackDown, the big show to go into tomorrow's bigger show. Gentlemen, before I get into it, overall th thoughts. Corey Brennan, start with you. I thought it was a decent SmackDown that ended hot. They're, they're obviously... I said on Twitter earlier, there was a couple of issues with the crowd mics tonight. So if anyone's wondering why it was so, the crowd seemed so dead up until the main event, that's why there was issues that did fix them, of course, right after I decided to make that tweet, which Joel happily pointed out and called me a hack, which is great co-worker <laughs> material, to be honest. But yet, yeah, and I was told that before that, and people are going to absolutely hate me for saying this. The the noise you did hear, other than the muffled sounds of the crowd, were piped in crowd noise. Um, and I know that's a hard thing for some people to grasp, but it's a part of just en live entertainment in general. Deal with it. Nothing bad about it. Just get over it. <laughs> Is there a reason why they would do that, Corey? Do Tonight, I don't know why they would have done it, especially yeah, with these that place if was they were packed. I think the issues with tonight was the fact that I think they might have caught it early. I don't know for sure when they caught on that there was an issue with the crowd mic, so I can't tell you if they were already pump pumping it in at that point, but they were definitely pumping in crowd noise to make up for the muffled mics. But wow, when they did fix the mics before the main event, it was night and day difference for Jey Uso's entrance. So sure. Glad that they did get them fixed in they, that regard. They were singing along for that intro. We're going to get into that. And, of course, if you want to get into it, you can donate a Super Chat. Any amount of your question or statement read on the air. And, of course, you can donate a Humper Chat at HumperChats.com. H-U-M-P-E-R-S. Chats.com. Or just Humper. <laughs> Humper without the S. H-U-M-P-E-R. Chats.com. <laughs> See? I'm on my game tonight. Alexis Cardoza, what did you think overall SmackDown? And we could dig in. Not bad, you know. It was one of those. Uh, I, I thought when I was looking at it, the the uh, Andre the Giant was going to go longer. It actually did it. I thought that was going to be like half of the show. So we got some good uh, some good matches in. We got to see. I, <laughs> I got to see Jade. Um, so you know. So there's that. So I'm a very happy boy. We all got to see Jade. We all got to see Jade. We all did get to see Jade. By the way, tonight's show not only brought to you by FIFAselect.com, best five bucks in the business, but also NordVPN and our pals over at Bet Online and our new sponsor, Foco. We're going to talk all about those sponsors in a little bit. Corey Brennan, you're here and you want to give us some scoops. And I want to open the floor for you to give us whatever scoops you want. We talk crowd noise. We get it. Baseline. You got to start somewhere with the audio and mix it from there. But what else happened tonight that the people need to know about? Well, 
Tozawa scared the absolute bejesus out of every single person watching SmackDown. So there was that. And he walked to the back on his own, didn't need to be helped, which is always a good sign. And when he got to the back, it was kind of just a kind of surprise that there there wasn't anything more wrong with him, really, to be honest. And uh, yeah, so it was a lot worse than it looked. Um, in terms of just how the general feel of tonight's show was, there was a lot of excitement backstage. And it was a lot of echo and of what... Um, Sean reported earlier today on Select about the first WrestleMania without Vince truly barging his way in. And th there was that kind of anticipation about backstage tonight and all the angles hit, to be honest. A couple of people mentioned to me that Dragon Lee, they were, they were a bit confused by the whole Dragon Lee incident, but I, I, can't, I don't know why he was pulled from that match in favor of Andrade. That's a Sean question, unfortunately. But um yeah, there's just there's just a lot of positivity backstage to show. And I do want to have a quick mention of Julia and Rossi. Obviously, they were backstage at tonight meeting with WWE officials. I have been hearing a lot about Julia and NXT. So I will go ahead and say here I don't know when Sean is planning on dropping a report i sent him a bunch of details that i found out about julia and such but for this is obviously early on that there it's pretty much 110 percent that she i i i'm happy to put say with my full confidence that she will start in nxt this isn't going to be a case of she's going to go right to the main roster and just join uh join join damage control like a lot of people have been fantasy booking um so other than that, there's a lot more that I'm still working on to do with Julia and Rossi. We're going to be trying to get all we can up for you guys in time for Stand and Deliver in the morning. That's when, so if you are awake before Stand and Deliver, make sure to check out Fight to Select. We'll have as much as we can possibly have for you guys for a loaded show. We will be live after NXT Stand and Deliver as well, so keep an eye on that over on youtube.com slash Fightful. By the way, Will Chisholm sent a super chat saying, I'm sure Julia and Rossi were backstage just for the Hall of Fame. Wink, wink, LOL. Well, as Corey <laughs> said, might be a little bit more than that, but I'm sure they're also there to support a few friends who are going into the Hall of Fame. Yeah, definitely. I, I, I wouldn't be surprised if we see them on camera tonight at the Hall of Fame, to be honest, yeah. because obviously Bull Nakano, played such a big part in, in Joshi wrestling and, and everything like that. So I wouldn't be surprised in the slightest to see them show, even shown in the crowd shot. But um, yeah, I'm going to try and confirm what I can by the morning. Probably going to be another late night for me and probably another day where people aggregate without giving me any credit because no one knows who I am. Well, <laughs> oh my God. <laughs> <laughs> Give Corey his flowers if you haven't already. If you haven't, no, you haven't no. Followed, at least give him his give him his due. Okay? No, I don't want a pity party. Okay, it's Matt, just, I'm giving it, it to you. Yeah, pity. <laughs> We're throwing it at you. Oh god. And and, and tonight, and tomorrow's uh, yeah, stand and deliver. What what we're expecting a huge house. Shawn Michaels said it's going to be the largest great gate in NXT history. They yep. have almost sold out the Wells Fargo Center. There's about 600 tickets or so left, according to Wrestle Ticks wild that they could be selling out that nxt stand and deliver yeah. show is Corey european yes i am irish uh just to break it to you uh if you can't figure it was out my <laughs> if you ever meet a dude who was born in irish who's hispanic please tell me because i've never actually met an irish person who's hispanic so that's a, oh that's man a we need one. to yeah we need to make that happen yeah that'd be a weird one but um as Joe, as you're saying, Joe, biggest gate in NXT history. And again, it's another thing of just like there's such a wave of positivity in WWE right now and mm -hmm. in and in NXT as well. I will say that tomorrow there will be a a couple of surprises. I'm not sure how many. I couldn't tell you how many exactly. There's just been talk all the last two, three weeks of main roster stars showing up. Ava teased it on Tuesday's show. I haven't been able to find out who that is, but we won't have long to wait because it'll be on the kickoff slash countdown show. So hopefully it's someone that's a bit interesting, but obviously with so many people missing out on the Mania card, I feel like a standard deliver appearance. Why not? Mm. Yeah, we'll see how it goes because that's going to be, it's going to be a hot show. 
going into night one. They've got a full house. No reason why someone wouldn't be happy to be a part of that show. Yeah. I'm looking forward to it. I think I think a lot of people are. It's, it's going to be a lot of fun. You've got Super Card of Honor going on right now for Ring of Honor. We will have a post show there. Like I said, NXT Stand and Deliver tomorrow after the show and WrestleMania Nights 1 and 2 will be here. We're here. We live here. We basically are attached to our chairs, just chained down to the desk. God help me, please. Just got a text from Sean. So clearly there's more work to be done. So here we are. Shall we? Corey, go to sleep. <laughs> I don't want to, Dad. Leave me alone. Oh, too bad. Too bad. <laughs> Finish your supper, finish the reports, and get to bed. <laughs> All right, guys. Have a good poll show. You and, as well, uh, bro. As I said last time, I'm going to say it. Subscribe five for select. Best weekend to do it of the year. You're going to get all the scoops you can, all the podcasts you can. I'm sure there's going to be a lot of content going up over the weekend. So, yeah, guys, support what we do. And, yeah, enjoy the shows. Thank you, Thanks, Corey. Bro. Thanks, bro. Deuce, Thanks, guys. Corey. Take care. All right, as Corey Brennan drops off, and yes, he is European. Yes, he is Irish. And let's say you want to get the OG WWE network, and you want to go to Ireland, but you don't live in Ireland, but you want to get there, and you want to get that network for cheap, I'll tell you where you can do it, nordvpn.com slash Fightful. Let's go. I've often talked about uh, how much of a pay-per-view buyer I am. Take that any way you want it. But I'll tell you how I take it. NordVPN.com slash Fightful. Fastest VPN on the planet. Global server network. All that good stuff. That's great. But a big, big reason why I got NordVPN.com slash Fightful is all the pay-per-views I buy. All the money we're spending. We're trying to control costs as a company, as a household. You can get those UFC pay-per-views at a fraction of the price you're paying here in America. Plus, you can get all kinds of great content that you wouldn't normally see Thanks to those services as well. Uh, shows that are on overseas services, things that you want to watch a little bit early so you, so you get on that UK time and watch them. Being able to change the interfaces of things like the WWE Network, maybe you don't like Peacock, anything like that. NordVPN.com slash Fightful gives you that ability while having the fastest VPN on the planet. Also, you just get so much more out of your internet experience with nordvpn.com slash Fightful. Uh, subscribe to, to Fight and AEW Plus. Watch AEW without commercials. Uh, watch Bare Knuckle Boxing. Watch UFC pay-per-views, boxing pay-per-views at the rates they're getting over in the UK. Change your virtual location with just one click. And hey, if you need any help using it, they got that 24-7 tech support. nordvpn.com slash Fightful. You know, at one point I thought we had a more produced version of that ad, but apparently it wasn't on this side of things. Yeah, no, uh, that's the one we normally play, so I think someone's getting fired tonight. No. Oh, <laughs> <dear. laughs> well, it'll be me. Kate had a great run. I'll see you next week. Yeah, sorry, Kate. <laughs> All right, let's dig into SmackDown. Let's Listen, go. I love a minimalist stage. I love a full house full of wrestling fans, and I love it when it's just a simple the talent comes out and they're mm -hmm. surrounded by people excited for this. And then I love when they introduce a Spanish announced team. Mm -hmm. and the first thing I think of Alexis is, Oh my God, that table's going down. That was a wonderful red herring tonight. Yeah. I kind of tweeted. I just like, leave my Hispanic people alone, sir. Why must our table always be destroyed? They listened to <laughs> you. They scared the Spanish announced team. Yeah. Can't say the same for the, uh, the, the team from Ring of Honor and Spanish Announce Project, they they uh, did not win their match. But anyway, let's talk about KO Show with Randy Orton. That opens the show. Guy in the front row with a vintage Orton sign with the Michael Cole picture embedded. Loved it. That person was like prime for all of the promos. Got all of his signs up. That was good stuff. And then you got Logan Paul. He's at the link where tomorrow's WrestleMania is. And of course, Wells Fargo being next to the link is a great uh, kind of opportunity for WWE to use both facilities because they are close by and also to show off the mania stage on TV because you can mm -hmm. watch the, the reveal on YouTube. That's great. But to put it on Fox in front of all those viewers who are getting ready for WrestleMania, maybe haven't seen this stage reveal because they popped it up at like middle of the night yesterday. This was a good, good reason to use it. Of course, this is all just to get randy orton and ko to run out of the wells fargo center go after logan paul who's called himself the dawn he's building empires and that he's two steps ahead yada 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 
And as KO and Randy leave, out come Grayson Waller and Theory. And they're all over the show. We'll talk yeah. about them. But really, the best part about this opening segment is that they can't get into the car. So KO and Randy commandeer golf carts. And as they're leaving, Randy says, Can this thing hold our weights? As they're driving off into the distance and Waller and Theory chase on foot. It's a silly little thing. What do you think of the opening KO show? Yeah, it, it wasn't bad at all. I mean, hey, listen, it's entertainment and we got entertained and, you know, later on we had the beat down. So um, it was fun. It was fun. I kind of, though, in, in, when when they came out from underneath the ring, it kind of did feel a little, just a tiny bit. Like Corey, when uh, Corey was like, I think they missed their mark. I'm like, did they maybe? Because that would have been pretty funny, you know, but yeah. I think the idea here is that they're dumb. Yes, Unfortunately, by the way, because oh. two good wrestlers do not need to be dumb. But yeah. Oh, yeah, one half of them maybe could be a little smarter than the other. We'll talk, we'll talk about what happens in, the match in a little bit. Uh, let's get the Andre the Giant Memorial Battle Royal. I call it the arm bar for those who don't know, mm. because it's the Andre Rusimov. That's his, his, his government name, which Drew McIntyre told us we shouldn't be using. But here I am using it. The Andre Rusimov Memorial Battle BA Royal. The arm bar. The armbar. I love that. This year's winner is Bronson Reed. He got a TV entrance along with Ricochet Omos. This was a fun sprint of a battle royal. I really enjoyed it. I don't think we needed as many tag teams in it. But right. later on, we understood why certain names that people thought should be in there were not a part of it. What do you think of this? Bronson Reed gets the big trophy and the big pose. How do you feel? I'm, I'm okay with it just because... Um... Bronson's kind of been, you know, this wrecking ball that's that's been set on fire and then just fizzles away and then sets on fire and fizzles away. So this is really cool to see. Um, and I hope that they do something with it. I don't think we've ever seen anybody that has won the uh the the that battle royal do anything besides just brag about it and walk around with the trophy and that's it. So I hope that maybe this, you know, leads to like what he wants, the meat match. And you know what? There was a lot of meat between him and Ivar. Some <laughs> really good spots, those two. J just the finish alone, you had Ivar missing Yo. that, that moonsault and then Reed doing a rolling senton and eliminating Ivar. Earlier in the match, those two doing a meeting in the middle, and I mean M-E-A-T, meeting in the middle. There was some good stuff for those two. Yeah. that Ivar also looks like he's... Uh, a behemoth of a man like he just standing next to anyone was he, next to bronson reed he looked he, he looked like a regular person uh bronson reed did next to uh Ivar. but yeah good, good match i i enjoyed it i like you mentioned there was a couple of the tag teams in when in these matches just don't make sense but you're also trying to put people on television so you know more power to them you i listen when it comes to me joel and you know this we've done shows together I mean, glass half full. I'm always looking for the positive and everything. I understand that sometimes they'll, there's certain things we look for positives and ways to fix those things. We don't harp on them. So, uh, yeah, other than that, I mean, good match. I enjoyed this battle royale once in a while. Throw me over. Can you just, can you just bury everyone right now? Do that. Come on. Yeah. Um, no, I can't. It's, it's my superpower. What are we doing here? What are we doing? If you can't get angry on the internet, what are we even doing here, Alexis? What are well, we doing? And this is why we have a balance. You know, we bring in Sean. <laughs> <laughs> As Corey mentioned earlier, Tozawa did get up under his own power. Earlier uh, in the match, or to his, his elimination was uh, Ivar eliminates Otis, and then he tosses Tozawa to the outside. Otis was supposed to catch him, but he kind of overshot the, the yeah. landing to Tozawa. Sticks a nasty landing, got a lot of people scared. But the, the good news is that Tozawa was up, got out under his own power, even posted, you know, the deuces over on, on, on Twitter. So <laughs> good for him. I'm glad that he's okay. Got up under his own power. That's all that matters. Uh, and, and again, with Bronson Reed, I think you bring up a good point. What's next for him? For yeah. me, this felt like a little bit of a make good considering what happened uh, yeah. in Australia, that he was unable to do the show since Seth Rollins was injured. He was supposed to have a world title match as reported by Fightful Select. And then, 
Of course, he had his baby, which is wonderful. Yes. Good timing, great news. Uh, but that was never the original plan. He was supposed to be in Australia. He was supposed to be in Perth working that show. Uh, this is a good first step to move him forward. And I think him winning the Battle Royal gives us a little bit of positivity running into what's next for Bronson Reed. And this officially means that he won that match on Monday that never finished between him and Sami Zayn. Yep. Yep. I mean, let's 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 make it happen. So I'm down with it. All right. Next segment up is uh well it's it's a promo, it's a promo. All right. It's uh <laughs> what's the name of that group? Is, uh, Karen Cross is there and they they like uh oh yeah. geez. You want to um, um uh the though the TikTokers because they <laughs> TikTok, right? Do they do the <laughs> a really bad deal anyway someone you should make that into a shirt joel make some money out of that dude sure you're at it jesus that's probably what we do final testament is the name i get it okay they didn't want bob they do cry me a river carrying cross says that this is this is the one thing i like carrying cross says that he carried the conflict to the point where they needed this fight so he made reason for why this match is happening at Mm -hmm. wrestling and others have noted and i agree with it at WrestleMania 13 in Chicago, they did a street fight and they called it a Chicago street fight. Six random ass wrestlers, no build, no nothing. This is what we're doing. This is what we're doing at WrestleMania. And I think it has the possibility of being one of the matches of the night, or at least one that people talk about. What do you think of the promo? Are you looking forward to the six man tag or six man Philly street fights at WrestleMania? I, I'm looking forward to them finishing it. To be honest, like we got to move on because this this has felt kind of a little bit dead in the water for me between these two. So I'm hoping that this is like their blow off. They I, I want to see violence in Philly. You know, um, you got, you know, Bobby, former ECW champ. You know what I'm saying? Like, let's let's just bring them out there and just I mean, there's going to be a callback to this. I guarantee you with a match like this, there has to be callbacks They're in Philadelphia home of ecw so they're gonna have to like you know step it up for for us fans and i think that's the way it's gonna go i i think you're right it might it might be one of the matches that kind of steals your the night for you yeah i think it'll be one that people are are sleeping on right now which is understandable but then once it happens it has the possibility of being one of the better matches of the night violence violence listen violence violence gets (laughs) everyone excited okay let me tell you you get a little violence in you and you're ready to go. Just a little bit. Just a little bit of violence. A little bit of violence for Logan Paul comes out. He's back mm. to the Wells Fargo Center. So let's pick this up again. He starts off using the city heat. Talks about South Jersey, North Jersey, but they're in Philadelphia. He's doing he's doing local city heat. And I'm like, I don't think this works well with an international crowd because no one is reacting. And you can see it in the first few rows. And I know that Corey Brennan just told us that the, the mics in the crowd weren't working. Well, like you could just kind of tell people were like, mm, we're not from here. Mm-hmm. This doesn't matter. It's a rudimentary promo. Calls KO Randy dumb. Says Randy is the size of a the size of an uh, head of a size of an elephant, and his brain is the size of a peanut. KO is fat. Blah blah blah. They go <laughs> by the link, and Waller and Theory are lost because they're stupid and they can't find KO it's and Randy. So Turned about his fair play. Randy and KO are under the ring. They beat up Logan Paul. My favorite part of this whole thing is something that you guys did not see live on the television and that was randy orton stayed ringside for a little while after this whole thing and they had to get a stage attendant to rush him off the rampway and away from the crowd as they were bringing out zelina vega and electra lopez for their match so they had to like get him out of here randy orton is having the time of his life alexis cardoza yeah, I saw that on Twitter. He was uh, the the one of the producers just happens to run by as fast as she can, and she's like, "Dude, bounce!" And as he's making the turn around the corner, the LW screen pops out. It was really, it was great though. But th- those are the things that make the production team at WWE so great. You know, they've been doing this for 170 years, so I would expect them to have everything uh, running as smooth as possible on the ship. You know, um, I I uh, the whole logan paul thing i understand the business behind it but i'm not a fan you know he's he doesn't tickle my my fancy like i don't he doesn't make me happy he doesn't make me mad there's no emotion coming out of me for that so i'm hoping that this title gets put on one of these two wrestlers who are uh amazing and we see a, a, a great run out of either or and and we just continue moving forward and see where um where he goes but but 
I do want to say this. We said this, uh, I said this with, with uh, Robert DeFelice. Um, the, he might not, he might walk away with this belt, and, you know, because of SummerSlam where it's going to be. So I might just, you might hear that someone here in North Carolina drop kicked their television. So that might be me. Kenny Omega is going to be watching. Is that what's going on? Yeah, there you go. <laughs> I think that he, that, that, that Logan Paul is actually doing a great job. I think that he has come in and he has been yes. willing to learn and he has been willing to put in the work and he has shown out for every appearance sure. he's had. Mm-hmm. Was this his best showing tonight? No. But at the same time, this this match is happening. The story's been laid out. This was kind of a just just wrapping up the loose ends to get us to Mania. And right. then you had Randy and KO beat up Logan Paul. They do the tandem finish. It feels like Logan Paul's going to eke out a victory and maybe carry it into SummerSlam. And I wouldn't hate that. I wouldn't hate Logan Paul going into Cleveland and maybe even dropping the U.S. championship in Cleveland. Right, right. Um, and that's why I said, that's why I say I understand the business, you know, because that's the business side of things. And he's done an incredible job of adapting and becoming a, a wrestler in the ring in front of our eyes. You know, that's the business. I, outside of the business, I just it doesn't make me whatever. It's just, but yeah, in the ring, cool. <laughs> I get it. I get it. I think he's a good storyteller. I think he's been working, sure. I think he's been working on it. And again, we're allowed YouTubers, to man. They're that's what we do. When oh, you're a YouTuber. The worst. We are the worst human beings. Podcasts. Who who does that? Yeah. I, I, it said this on my. I have a morning show, by the way, over on Fightful Over Bugs. It's called you do? It's, We run from 10 a.m. till till noon on Monday, Wednesdays, and Fridays. Today, we decided next year WrestleMania. Well, we're not going to do media row like everyone else. No, we're going to get a hot tub. Oh, we're going to conduct our interviews in a hot tub. I like that a lot. You want to talk about YouTubers using the full potential of their abilities? We're going to get a hot tub. Anyway, someone else is going to be watching WrestleMania from a hot tub as Dragon Lee because he got laid out backstage. <laughs> Carlito is like, I didn't see who did it. I don't know who did it. You did it. I love that, man. And Nick Aldis is, 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 is back there and he says, you know, I'll check in. Zelina has a match and Zelina Vega comes out with the Rey Mysterio and Electra Lopez comes out and so do Dominic and Andrade. Mm. This match, listen, this match was not about Zelina and Electra. It was all about what happens afterwards. Electra Lopez gets the win. She hits the Electra shop after Dominic distracts the referee. But one thing I love is that Zelina Vega hit a 619 and the hammerlock DDT. I love it because you have the 619 for Rey Mysterio. The hammerlock DDT was Andrade's finish in NXT. And of course, Zelina and Andrade have a background. This was really good stuff, but it doesn't matter because post-match Santos and Dominic attack Rey. Andrade beats down Santos and Dom sides with the LWO. And later on, we find out Andrade is going to fill in for Dragon Lee at WrestleMania. He's going to be Rey Mysterio's partner, much to the chagrin of Carlito. What do you think of this? Yeah. Uh, you're talking about Carlito, man, who, uh, I mean, the man literally stabbed John Zena. You know what I'm saying? Like, this man's dangerous. So you don't ever know what he's going to be doing. And the fact that he just randomly just shows up when things after things happen, that made me pop so, so well. Um, I, 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 I don't, I don't mind it. I don't mind where they're going with this. I want to see Carlito a little bit more involved, you know, especially the crowd really loves him. Even his best work has always been as a heel, you know? And by the way, when Zelina is about to do the, uh, the move, um, the DT, you can tell she looks over at Andrade. She's like, you son of a bitch. She stares at him. And that is so good. That's such great storytelling. Like, she's such a great performer in the ring, you know? And just by giving him that glance, you're like, oh, okay. She's like, how dare you betray us? Bam! You know? I liked it. It was it was really well done. It was a nice little point. And, and I like the added part that you just mentioned. You know, it was, it was a little icing on the cake for Zelina yeah. to back down and be like, yeah, screw you. Because she she was shook. That She was playing off shook. She when, showed the emotion. She's yeah. so good. Put her in a movie, man. Where's <laughs> WWE Productions at? Then they make movies back in the day. Put her in the Marine 12. I don't, have there been 12? I think there's been like eight. There's been so many. I know. Carlito turning heel, if that's what they're going for, I'm much more of a fan of that. Oh, yeah. Whatever they're doing with him right now, where he's trying, mm-hmm. to, he he just 
Carly never comes off as babyface, and that's the way he was presented when he came into WWE. But like the turn was what cemented him yeah. for his time in WWE, and I'd like to see that back in the fold. I would love that because that's the character that I'm waiting kind of to show up. Like every time he's out there and being a goody too gooder, I'm like you got something up your sleeve bro like watch your back like that's the one character that if they're gonna make this into a story they should definitely use the whole that's the one person you don't want to turn your back on you know what i'm saying he's always gonna backstab you he's always gonna do something and play into it man he stabbed john cena people let's go oh let's go i would love that uh, someone put in the chat the zelina did do the fighting with my family. She was the backup for, for AJ. Did all the uh, yes. Did all yeah. those spots. That was, that was That's true. right. That was a while ago. That's right. Yeah. She was. Uh, she was AJ, wasn't she? She was as the wrestler. Yeah. 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 Uh, we did get a, a going back to Logan Paul. Van Twimbley sent a super chat saying, uh, I don't care how good Logan Paul is. He's taking the spot of more deserving workers like Ricochet. There's another thing there. I'm not going to I'm not going to add that part. But the, the taking the spot of workers like Ricochet. <laughs> Ricochet is currently on the ascent and he's there every single week. Yeah. I will tell you, I don't personally see it that way. I can understand some do, but Ricochet is currently being built up to the point where I thought he was going to win the arm bar. I thought he was going to win the Andre the Giant Memorial yeah. Battle Royal. So for me, it's just a presentation thing. Logan Paul has a bigger portfolio and just has a bigger mainstream crossover appeal than say a ricochet and i'm only using ricochet because you've used it in your super chat yeah anyway. ricochet ricochet he's another one they they start to the fire they shut off the fire on him but you know but he's a great talent man he's someone that they can they can depend on they can really really depend on and you know what if if that's where he's at and that's what he's gonna do i'm here for it listen they're gonna put they'll, put they'll put they're only putting the speed challenge thing on him you think so? Yeah, I thought they were. I I could be kidding. I don't know what the hell I'm saying. I mean, they're they're still taping it, so they could be doing. Oh it. yeah, okay. I have no insights on that. I am not scooping. <laughs> they, they taped another one tonight, so you'll see it. But it didn't involve Ricochet. But Ricochet did win his first match for Speed. Okay, cool. All right. So it's there. It's out there. We're not spoiling anything. We do. Yeah, I'm not, yes. Yeah. yeah. Jeremy Lambert is also doing Speed reviews, so just uh, go check that out on his socials. Love uh, it. And by the way, you were talking about. Uh, you know, you're talking about the sure things and the sure the sure things in life come with those who make the proper wages. And this is an awful segue to our friend. <laughs> Just, you know what? Get your bets from us. Get your betting odds from Bet Online. Here they are. Let's go. Hey, guys, I'm here to tell you about BetOnline.ag, the official betting partner of Fightful. It's not just an online platform. They've been trusted for over 25 years. They boast a focus on the player approach and have built their reputation on offering their clients nothing but the best. From cutting edge technology to enticing promotions and the latest sports betting odds. Whether it be wrestling, MMA, boxing, or football, baseball, basketball, uh, or racing, anything you can think of. All major sporting events are covered by betonline.ag. Fast payouts, highest credit card acceptance industry-wide, uh, safe and secure online environments, and their live betting feature allows you to bet on your favorites weekly and easily and in real time. Betonline.ag. That's where we're going at Fightful. That's where we suggest you go as well. That's where we get all of our odds at. BetOnline.ag. Only bet what you can and please bet responsibly. Look, man, I know that that segue was not my best. <laughs> I've done better. I did a good one this past week on the Wednesday show. I mean, hey, listen, I probably heard that once or twice from an ex. I also picked the wrong one to play. We need the I, one. Again, to I told you. Kate, I know you know, Kate's going to be fired because Kate's the one that didn't preload these for you they're all preloaded but the problem is there's like 50 versions of the same thing pre anyway we're pulling back the curtain too far i don't want to do this anymore she should have left the vhs tape there for you so you could just pop it in yourself she should have done it that way <sighs> one day she'll figure it out <laughs> before we move on van twinblade sent a super chat saying dan has and Maki ito are in the ring together right now that was earlier tonight i'm sure that match is over unless it's still going i don't know and says this is better than anything on smackdown hey man if you're enjoying all the wrestling this all weekend. the wrestling yes no. this enjoy to your heart's content i hope you're having the best weekend of your life Hell yeah if you haven't yet by the way get in your super chats get in your humper chats let's keep going naomi and bianca come out 
cowgirl hats in Philly. It's it's, it's a Beyonce thing. They're all they're all doing a Beyonce thing. I get yeah, it. Yeah, yeah. I get it. I'm hip. I'm down with the Yeah. They all point the cool to the kids. Sun. They're out here. They're talking about how the Glow S were outnumbered. They needed a friend. So they got Jade Cargo. Jade Cargo gets the full entrance as she does deserve. Mm. Mm-hmm. She's doing the cowgirl thing too. They all are. It's it's you know what? I like that they at least coordinate the outfits and it's great. Sure. And then she says, you know, damage controller in the eye of the storm. She calls herself Naomi and Bianca, the big three. And this is just getting people pumped up for WrestleMania. This is a great straight ahead promo. Just get them hyped for, for a, a random six woman match that was added to the card. And it's really just to make Jade's star shine. And that's fine because they clearly did it here. Your thoughts. Yeah, I listen. The presentation of Jade has been very well. I want to see. I want to see more of what she can do in the ring. Um, that's my whole deal. Like entrances are all grand and everything, but I want to see her beat people up. Kind of like you know, a little bit of foresight. I was sitting there and I'm, I'm looking at her in the middle, in between these two women, and I'm thinking to myself, you know, these two, these two could turn on her at any moment and really make her into a super mega star. Where they kind of like, if they were to turn on her ever down the line. She beats the crap out of both of them. Jade is set. Jade is set. Let's just leave it at that. But yeah, she's um she's great. I think that uh I I'm I'm very critical of certain things. I think that it, it kind of like she's still making her way through the promos, right? It felt a little bit more scripted the promo as opposed to kind of like genuine and her talking. The pointing felt very like forced. Um, at the end there, there was a couple little parts here and there. I enjoyed it. I'm not essing on it i'm not on a curse i'm just talking like it just felt a little bit weird when i was listening to her talk but other than that she could uh 100 like power bomb me step on me whatever she wants i i love her I, she looked like the under undertaker under i called her under jade instead of undertaker because she just had that look when she came out with the hat and the trench coat i was like okay let's go girl the uh the the cargill taker oh yeah dude that's great. She should steal that gimmick. God, you thirsty. I am. <laughs> Undertaker should come out and pass her his hat and the. <laughs> this is your gimmick <laughs> and the now. Card. This is your gimmick now. Anyway, yeah. Just anyway, uh, yeah. This is this. I cannot understate how much the Jade Cargill. I'll call it an experiment, because it is. They are really trying to make this their biggest women's division acquisition in a long time. And they're really going to spend the time to make her into a big deal. They're going to make her appearances count. They're giving her the ball and she's running with it early, which is good. Uh, And I think that the match is going to be created around her, which is nice. Mm -hmm. They will make her a star. I know a lot of people are saying that she's going to win i don't necessarily agree with that i think there are other plans in store but i think jade's gonna look real good i think all six women are gonna look real good but this feels like it's being put on to make jade look like the star that everyone thinks that she is and can be and this is a good way to do it it's not a royal rumble this is a match this is it yeah this is it and i can't wait to have her in the ring and just beating the crap out of everyone that's i mean that's who i fell in love with in in aew just her you know her strength her everything her aura so i can't wait to see it now on you know at wrestlemania and she looks like the with those three women with with bianca and jade and naomi together in the ring they look like they fit as a unit together they look 100 percent yeah and like i said the the coordination the dress coordination that works you know that makes you look like a team and so you see it with damage control you see it with them as well and i i do appreciate that yeah she's um she's just i mean she outshines a lot and these two ladies i mean they're printing money right now with all three of them they are it's it's so interesting to me where naomi goes um I'll just say it right now. My general feeling, and we're not doing it was in the fantasy booking show, but right. my general feeling is that Naomi is going to cost that team the match. And that she's going to get involved in Jimmy and Jay's match. Ooh. And that's Ooh. all I'm going to say for now. Instead, let's talk about New Catch Republic taking on Waller in theory. This is where 
earlier you were saying they're two very good wrestlers at Grayson Waller and Austin Theory. This is where I push back for for two reasons. One, I think some I think everyone saw that uh, they had the little miscommunication where Theory yeah. he was legal man. That that that's not what I'm actually going to talk about. The one thing, the one thing I wanted to see more than anything out of Waller and Theory is them selling their exhaustion because they had to run back and forth from Wells Fargo to the stadium, to the stadium and back. <laughs> Just, just, for, just act like you're winded. Act like you're tired. Act like yeah. act this. That's all I wanted, and I think that little extra bit would have made this whole presentation, this whole match, that much stronger. Because New Catch gets the win. It doesn't yeah. really matter because post match Judgment Day beat down all four men. Rhea Ripley's even there, and she gets involved a little bit. Yeah, at the end of the whole beat down. It's a good match with New Catch and Waller in theory, but sure, you know, it's just a setup for what is to come at WrestleMania yeah. with that six person or 16 ladder match. What do you think of the match? What do you think of the beat down from judgment? Day? <clears throat> yeah. I mean, <clears throat> judgment day as well for me has, has fizzled out a little bit, but it's cool to see the physicality that they can bring um, and just beating the crap out of anyone uh, when they're all together outside of that. They haven't to me, they just haven't really hit in the last couple weeks, man. So I, I don't know what they're going to do at WrestleMania. Hopefully it just, it gets taken apart and these guys are able to, you know, flourish on their own. You're right about the whole thing. They should have acted a little bit more, you know, especially since you were running a mile and a half away from one place to the next and whatnot. But it is what it is. It was a, a match that they had to put together, you know. Um, we'll see where, where everything goes uh, with that team. I think that soon enough, there's going to be a breakup there. And I think... Um, uh, Austin Theory should be the one that comes out on top. Uh, Austin's so good, man. I, I feel like he deserves a little bit better. Yeah, I and we're going to see how that plays out. Austin Theory is the younger one, but also being with a guy like Grayson Waller, who's been on the ascent so quickly and so yes. effectively, it's hard. When you pair those together, you really put them in a position where one was going to outshine the other because their presentations are so similar, and Waller was just the bigger personality. Yeah, he is. He definitely is. He outshines, you know, there's a lot of outshining in the personality stage there. Like, I mean, even just from being on his 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 aura, the way he sits on his desk when he's doing the Grayson Waller effect, like he commands the attention with verbally, you know, and he's not bad in the ring. I watched him in in uh, in NXT, you know what I'm saying? But I, I wish there was more for for theory. But that's yeah. just me. No, I agree, and we'll see what happens after uh, after WrestleMania. There's a possibility that they walk out with the tag titles. We don't know, but uh, for now, Judgment Day certainly beat their asses. By the way, Sean Ross Sapp dropped an interview with Finn Balor and Damian Priest earlier today here on Main. After nice. you're on this show, go watch that interview. It's five minutes. You got time. It's a good interview. They talk about Dominic Mysterio's growth, their times at WrestleMania, and, of course, they're going to talk about the Judgment Day dominance because they were the Fightful Award-winning faction of the year by a landslide yeah. really walked away with it so let's uh let's give them their flowers while we can. of course yeah bailey and neo sky package the only reason i'm really bringing this up is because they used the Haley williams song and of course Haley williams is the lead singer of paramore they used her song simmer for this thing why is this important bailey had wanted paramore to play her to the ring called it her moment that she would that would be her wrestlemania moment earlier today bailey bailey tweeted out the same package that they played today on the show and said that paramore were unavailable to perform live at wrestlemania due to a logistics uh you know issue they couldn't make it work but this to her was the next best thing it's a great package very straightforward go watch sure. get your hype we did get a super chat from bad robot saying happy wrestlemania weekend alex and kate fan club Corey and joel pearl thank you <laughs> me. corey has gone he went to bed i hope uh he says i'm most looking forward to Rhea, becky and bailey and eo how about y'all Appreciate y'all. Have a safe and fun weekend of grabs. We hope you do too. We hope you're having fun. Yeah. I'm looking forward to both matches you just mentioned. Rhea and Becky, Bailey and EO. I think Bailey and EO has flown under the radar for some, but I think this is going to be a match that gets a lot of people talking. Sure. Yeah. Women. Uh, I, want, I want more of them on TV, fighting, everything. All the time. All the time. I just, I mean, this package, like you know, like you mentioned, was was it, it was really good. This is what WWE does, man. This is why they got me to into television and film. Uh, just their their packages alone always intrigued me, and you know the way that they put everything together, and they were a big part of why I chose to do what I do now. And um, they should, Paramore might not be there, but Jesus, 
They sure gave her a, you know, a a great uh, you know, I want package basically with using their their music. I mean, I maybe there's a, a way that they could one day reunite them and uh and bring them in. I know they're having their own problems with contract issues and their actual paramour, you know, name and everything. So yeah. Suck it up for Bailey. They should. Just suck it up. Just for one night. Just for Bailey. A couple million. Anything yeah. fixes. Millions fixes everything. It's true. Well, yeah. But billions will do even more. But That's it. We're a team again. Yay. We're millions. <laughs> Give us our own rooms and our own buses. And we'll be fine. Yeah, yeah. For one night. It works for the Stones. It'll work for everyone else. Oh, agreed. There you go. Uh, by the way, Seth versus Drew is another one that I'm very much looking forward to because this could be the crowning of Drew McIntyre, who has been on a freaking tear since the CM Punk injury even before then this has been a match that I'm looking forward to because there are multiple angles that this could end in and Drew McIntyre cannot look bad coming out of this whole thing yeah um <sighs> Drew man they need to put on he's another one I need to put fire on him please <laughs> he, I think he, on fire every he, week. he is on fire but I want him to like I want to carry the torch for a while man Outside of what just what happened in a long time ago when we were in behind closed doors and but couldn't I go mean, outside, the man came out with a couple of cupcakes for CM Punk today. Oh, yeah, that was off event. Yeah, yeah. Gave him over to, to Pat McAfee. He's like, hey, let's give, give him to you. I know. Yeah, pretty funny though. Also funny. LA Knight comes out big pop. People love the LA Knights. This is a very straightforward promo, but the re the only thing that really matters is that he says AJ Styles is phenomenal at not showing up, running away, getting stomped out, and middle sentence loses his gum and picks everything. <laughs> God bless a professional. Makes an Eagles reference, football team, not the band. And then he says the line, you know, everybody's saying straightforward, fine. It happened. LA Knight, AJ Styles, they brawled at the at the WrestleMania meeting. Do, yeah. You got that many people in a room. You are going to run an angle that hot. Yeah. I really want to make this a big deal. Uh, your thoughts of AJ Styles and LA Knight, the promo and the match itself coming off this weekend. It felt, you know, in the beginning, it felt so slow. And I, I didn't know where everything was going. You know, um, it, it felt like it was just something that they had put together. And I felt bad for LA Knight. Like, you know, but they're making they're making the best out of it. They're, you know, they're taking chicken poop and making chicken salad out of it. So. Uh, I'm down for it. I love the I love what they're what they're uh, what they're going to be doing. So let them beat each other up. Oh, <laughs> I want <man>. violence. <laughs> it feels like this is the, uh, the this is what we're after this tonight is violence. Violence. That's it. WrestleMania violence is the best type. <laughs> yeah, exactly. And listen, this is it's the greatest event in sports entertainment. Listen, by the way, WrestleMania Ford. Think about that. 40 WrestleMania, something that you know they didn't think was even gonna last. And they went through so much crap. I mean, this is amazing. This is I'm so happy for it because I've been watching every single one. So well, let me tell you, 40 years of WrestleMania is nothing because we got a new sponsor. Let's talk Let's about go. It. this is Foco. So the greatest event in all sports entertainment. We just talked about it. Michael Cole says is back. And if you're wait, really? Michael Cole says that. I mean, everyone's saying the WrestleMania is back, it's the granddaddy of them all, but anyway. If you're looking to bring your favorite WWE superstars to your living room, we know the perfect items to snag yourself for the upcoming WrestleMania festivities in the WrestleMania season. And for Mania season, we are proud to have FOCO as the official wrestling collectible company for Fightful, their exclusive bobblehead sponsorship for your Mania weekend. In case you didn't know, FOCO is a leading manufacturer of sports and entertainment merchandise celebrating more than 20 years in the industry. The company's always growing product lines include apparel, accessories, toys, collectibles, novelty items, and so much more. FOCO is licensed with all major sports leagues, including the NFL, the MLB, the NBA, the NHL, personal favorite of mine as a Canadian, NASCAR, MLS, and of course, WWE. Mm -hmm. So make sure that you use the promo code FIGHTFUL10, F-I-G-H-T-F-U-L-1-0, at checkout and receive 10% off your order. Keep in mind. This only applies to the in-stock bobbleheads on their website. Make sure yeah. you click the link in the description of our video. Grab the officially licensed WWE bobblehead, bobbleheads now and find your fandom with FOCO. Thank you guys for joining us for that, FOCO. I love um, that. You did great. Oh, thank you. 
love that. You should like do this professionally. I I've been saying, listen, <laughs> all I need is all I need is a hot tub and some wrestling. <laughs> yes, and put it on Twitch because those hot tub streams are pretty cool. Not that I know anything about them. They keep telling me to put it on Twitch. Oh. There you go. Trying to convince Jeremy Lambert, my co-host on In the Weeds, to do this. There's week. an actual section for hot tubs, so oh, I think I it'll do pretty well. They had to get it there because people were complaining. Yeah. I'll tell you what people were complaining about, and that was the finish of Jey Uso and Solo Sokoa. No finish again, Solo. They're singing Jay's theme, though. It's brother versus brother before the brother versus brother. DQ finish. Jimmy gets involved, but Cody Rhodes and Seth Rollins come out together. They make the save. They beat down Solo and Jimmy. Jay hits the big splash. And then Cody says, gets a little promo. He says, 40 years of WrestleMania. That's a lot of pressure. Says he and Seth Rollins are going to slap the rock so hard that the ego lives out of his body and he remembers <laughs> what it's like to be the people's champion. He says he's going to shake the bloodline of the foundation. He's going to dethrone the tribal chief. Makes a crowd booze in there too. Crowd was a little bit 50-50 on that. Yeah. Maybe 20%. And he says, when one good story ends, an even better one begins and then he says something along the lines of wrestlemania where it all begins but where it all begins again was actually the wrestlemania 20 tagline and i don't know if you remember this were you watching wrestling in 2004 oh yeah i've been watching wrestling for a long time the final if you watch the opening segment from wrestlemania 20 the cold open yes it's vince mcmahon shane mcmahon and then Shane walks in holding his newborn. I think it was Declan, or at least the eldest at the time, who was a baby. Now we're doing this 20 years later, and this is the newest era. McMahon's out. We don't care. But we've got Triple H. And this is, if they're calling this where it all begins again, 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 I don't hate it. Yeah. What do you think of the Cody promo? What did you think of, I mean, the matches, the whatever. Doesn't matter. Yeah. Really what we're talking about is that that angle and where we're going on Saturday night with the tag and Sunday night with Cody and Roman. What were your thoughts on this? Come A on. Renaissance era, some say. Well, that's not, Cody, he trademarked that one. So that, some that's say. Gimmick. That's going to be all Cody Rhodes. Maybe he, maybe, you know, he has a partnership with WWE. Who knows? I don't know. Um, but anyway, yeah, I I can't wait to see where this is all going to go. I, I This story has expanded in like five years, you know, five years worth of storytelling, like, how do we end this? How does it end? If this is where Cody finally puts the nail in the coffin, my God, this is this. The storyline alone is Hall of Fame worthy. You know, they should just put that storyline in the Hall of Fame because it was so amazing. Everything that's led up, you brought the rock into it. Like, there's so much. You know what I'm saying? And just the fact that now. This tag team match and and everything that's that's happening with with the family who who might show up like there's so much in, in stuff involved that WrestleMania Night One could be just theirs to be honest the entire like six hours. <laughs> <laughs> there's a listen. You want to talk about prop bets? I'm pretty sure Bet Online has a how long will the entrances last? So go check that out over at Bet Online. Okay, if you haven't yet. What are you doing? But this is a it's a big weekend. Yeah. It's Big weekend, and if you want all the scoops, head over to FightfulSelect.com. If you want to talk about the show, our Fightful Select Discord is open. Sean Ross yeah. is answering questions over there when he can. I'll tell you right now, the, the internet in Philadelphia is being used up by mostly wrestling fans, so it's not very hot. But <laughs> whenever Sean gets a few minutes, he does pop in, and he does answer questions. And, of course, our Corey Brennan's in there as well, giving you some scoops from NXT and a little bit of SmackDown tonight. We had the SmackDown plans going into tonight's show. Talent, staff, they're excited. It's a Vince McMahon-less WrestleMania. They are ecstatic. We had a report today on FIFA Select about that. And, of course, you want the sour side of things. It exists. You got Alex Polaski over there. He's giving yeah. his sour graps. He's doing it tonight. He does it on Mondays. He'll do. He'll he'll come around WrestleMania. He'll enjoy it, maybe. Who knows? But also yeah. the Weekender Podcast with Stephen Jensen. That's over on FIFOSelect.com. The best five bucks in the business. If you're missing it, what are you waiting for, huh? Yeah. Go do it, people. We're going to be back here at WrestleMania. We got one more super chat before we head out of here. Fun weekend coming up. This is from Drinking and MOs. Whew. Watching Dan Housen and Nick Gage now watch the Bray Doc. As somebody that's lost my twin girls, it spoke to me hard. I can send so much love your way. I am sorry. Always do. That, that is that, that that's happened. And that that Bray Doc is it's it's amazing and it's everything. And it's 
heartbreaking and heartwarming at the same time. I've gotten through bits and pieces of it. I haven't finished it yet. But yeah. If you haven't yet, I do recommend watching it. Have you I got- haven't yet, so I will soon. Just haven't wrapped my head around how I emotional I'll get watching something like that. So yeah, so it's gonna be it's gonna be worth watching. Get yourself in a in a position to watch it and go. Mm. But first, foremost, WrestleMania this weekend. NXT stand and deliver tomorrow afternoon. We're gonna have a post show. WrestleMania night one, gonna have a post show. Night two, have a post show. Press conference, we'll be talking about it. Hall of Fame happening right now. You got Paul Heyman giving flowers to Triple H and all the other people in the ring. So why yep. not go watch that? Watch Ring of Honor. Watch whatever you want. It's WrestleMania weekend, okay? Cardoza, what you got going on? Man, I what do I have? I don't even know. I'm just kidding. Uh, we got back, you know I'm back on wrestling with Freddie. We're back after our two month hiatus. So uh, season four just started on that. So if you guys are fans of wrestling like you are, make sure to head over to your podcast platform that you listen podcasts from and uh, check out Wrestling with Freddie. We're back on there. Our season premiere was last uh, Wednesday and Thursday. So I'm happy to be on that. And I got. Honestly, man, I got like 1,500 other things that I'm working on. But you guys can follow me on Instagram at Alexis Cardoza. And that's where you guys will keep up with me. I got Power Ranger stuff. I got Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtle stuff. I got a whole new show that's coming out soon uh, with a lot of uh, high-end people that I can't really say anything yet because we're working on that. So, um, yeah, just keep up with me there. And and sometimes my bitterness comes out on Twitter. So don't follow me there. <laughs> I'm here for the bitterness. Sometimes I need that vitriol from you. I'm too positive. You won't get it from our Ring of Honor post show, Supercard of Honor. We are doing a post show after this. It's going to be Rob Wilkins and SP3. So go check that out. Yes. And of course, everything that's going on. Like I said, FightfulSelect.com. Get on the Discord. Go talk to us. Go hang out with us. We're in the weeds every single Monday, Wednesday, and Friday over on our sister channel, Fightful Overbooked. That's 10 a.m. until noon. That's Eastern time. So come and hang out with us. And we drop content there every day. What are you waiting for? Go. Go watch it now. Go watch the show from earlier today. It would you? Okay. Till then, I am Atrol Pearl. J-O-E-L-P-E-A-R-L. Ladies, gentlemen, friends beyond the binary, enjoy WrestleMania weekend. Enjoy all the wrestling. And we'll see you in the next one. Cheers. <laughs>